Welcome back. Memorial Day is two weeks away, and already a local business is honoring veterans in a unique way. Philippe Cocard of Wallersheim Winery and Distillery has found a way to bring a spirit of sorts to life, all in an effort to do something good for Wisconsin veterans. Should be able to do 400 an hour. Winemaking goes back uh, 13 generations. They're bottling something special today at Waldersheim Winery and Distillery in Prairie du Sac. So we want it to be different. Co-owner Philippe Cocard and distiller Tom Lenners asked a farmer down the road to grow three different types of corn, red, white, and blue. Their goal was to make a special limited edition whiskey. We decided to uh, blend those three colors matching the percentage of the American flag. So the three colors are 42% red, 41.5% white, and 7% blue. But nobody that we know has matched the percentage of the flag. 42%, 41%, and 7%. So we think that is a first. And on top of that, aged in Wisconsin oak barrels. Nobody else has done that. <laughs> so that, that is really cool. And how did you figure out the percentage? Well, you just Google it. <laughs> so we uh, measured by weight, uh, X many pound of blue, X many pound of red and white, and we kept track of it. We documented it. We had the American flag. We had a pail with each of those colors. Uh, this is an American whiskey, and uh, mm. <laughs> the inspiration behind this spirit. She was a, a huge influence in my life. She was uh, she was a saint, a spirit from 70 years ago. For five years, starting in 1940, the Nazis occupied France until Allied troops arrived after D-Day to liberate the French people. Wow, I mean, she was in love with America before I, before I knew what America was. Philippe's grandmother, Therese Lacombre, lived in the southeast corner of France, about six hours south of Paris. While she was a woman of few words, the words she did share made an impact on Philippe. I remember that so vividly when I was eight, nine, ten years old, she was always defending America. She was always so proud of America, of the American troops, what they had done to liberate France in 1945. You know, at first I didn't quite get it. And then, you know, talking with her and talking with my parents about uh, the American army walking through the villages. And I remember my mom talking, she got a little piece of chewing gum from an American soldier. I mean, it must have been a first, you know. They saw the American troops walking through the villages, uh, pushing the Germans away. So that was like, wow, this is what we owe to America. I had that dream since I was 12 years old to come to America. I stuck to it, and here I am. And that dream most likely goes back to my grandma always telling me, a uh, great thing about America. That concept or that idea of always liking America, liking the American army, the, the American troops stuck with me. Which brings us back to this special one-of-a-kind whiskey. I want to do something for the veterans, and that's how we approach and created this event. With a single goal to simply do something good, as the whiskey aged, Philippe decided he would sell this whiskey with all monies going to help a Wisconsin veterans organization. Here we are, three years late, later, um, the product is ready. Uh, it is really awesome. I mean, it tastes... Uh, tastes like a bourbon, it is a bourbon. We are not calling it bourbon um, to focus on the American whiskey and the flag. A little spirit to honor a spirit, as well as the spirit of the American soldier. It's my way of um, giving back, giving back to the soldier. It's my way of honoring uh, what the U.S. Army did for France uh, all those many years back. So it's a, it's a little token of appreciation. To the Waldersheim and Cocard families, 
thank you for doing something so good. If you are interested in getting a bottle, there is a red, white, and blue whiskey fundraiser at Wallershine Distillery from 10 to 5 this Saturday, May 18th. Each bottle is $100, and there are only 500 bottles, and the distillery will not hold any bottles, so you have to be there to get one. In addition to the sale, there will be a living flag, the Sauk Prairie High School drum line, more live music, food, cocktails, and a check presentation to the Wisconsin Department of Veterans affairs for $50,000. That's the total for the 500 bottles. And finally, to nominate someone for a Do Something Good story, please go to channel3000.com slash do-something-good.